first of its kind technology is getting ready to power a Bay Area woman's home tonight. As our Bill Logan found out, one Seminole woman is set to become the first homeowner in our area to harness that sunshine for power with her roof shingles. Over on Oakhurst Drive, the renovation on Karen Alfala's dream house are almost done, and she couldn't be happier. I'm ecstatic. The only frustrating piece about the whole experience is that now I have to wait for Duke Energy to come. Well, while most of us wait to have the power turned on, she's waiting for them to come and give her a switch to, from time to time, take her home off the grid because she's ready to become her own power source. I am first in Pinellas County and the second house in Florida. Yep, Karen has re-roofed her home to capture the sun's energy by upgrading her shingles. And here's the shingle. It's the same size as a regular shingle you'd find on your roof, but the bottom half is a photovoltaic solar cell. If you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't look at you wouldn't weren't looking for it specifically. It just looks like an ordinary tile roof, except it's got a like a metallic look to it. And all that solar energy is simply piped into the house. The current, direct current, runs down through a conduit down the outside of the house and then comes, enters my house through up here. It then goes into this magic box, which is the inverter, and it converts the electricity to AC. And the extra ten dollars to $15,000 spent on the re-roof was pricey, but between the energy tax breaks and the decreased need for Duke Energy, she's confident this makes good economic sense. It net, it, I would expect them for it to pay for itself between six to eight years' time. In Seminole, Bill Logan. ABC Action News.